In this tutorial, what I'll do is go over uh, assignment A. That's one of the two very short answers that you'll be doing on RECA. And this is for the new exam. And um, basically what this says is, uh, is this, that uh, for the two short answers, those are uh, assignments A and B, you're limited to 175 words, as you see right in uh, here, as I highlight. And basically, um, what you're going to be asked about on uh, that one is something r related to fluency. So let me go over this with you so that you have some idea about um, what's going on. All right, here's the question. A second grade teacher frequently uses the following strategy when working with struggling readers who are performing below uh, the second grade fluency benchmark. Okay, now we don't know why that is. We have no idea. Uh, we won't know until we get a sense of the activity. Okay, because uh, basically they might not be fluent because if you look down here, because they're not reading accurately or they're reading too slowly or they're reading with no intonation. Prosody, remember, is no intonation. So all we know at this point is that they are uh, below the second grade fluency benchmark, but at this point we don't know why. We read this activity now. The teacher selects a variety of supplementary texts that use a controlled vocabulary. Nearly all the words are high frequency sight words or easily decodable words. And then the teacher has the students read these texts aloud quietly to themselves over a period of days as the teacher monitors their reading. Okay, I know exactly what the nature of the students' problem is. And uh, the reason that I know that is because if I I just sort of highlight in here, you'll see that this is the information that I really need to answer this question. So, the question is as follows. Uh, using your knowledge of reading fluency, which you uh, know involves really three uh, key elements, accuracy, reading rate, and intonation, or prosody, uh, identify what aspects of fluency this instructional strategy primarily develops. And then you're going to explain how this instructional strategy promotes uh, development of the aspects you identified. Okay, well based on the information that I'm given, the teacher then has the students read these texts aloud quietly to themselves over a period of days as the teacher monitors their reading. I know what's out. What's out is this. We're not mainly working on accuracy. We are not mainly working on intonation. Primarily what we are working on is reading rate, and I'm going to tell you why from just looking at this. The students are reading quietly to themselves, the teacher's monitoring, but what they're doing is what is called repeated reading. I'll write that in here. Repeated reading. So anytime you have uh, students doing repeated reading over and over and over and over again, what you're developing is their speed, their reading rate. So I always try to keep that in mind, that repeated readings and speed really go hand in hand. Uh, there's a couple of other things in here that are important. Uh, number one, this activity is a very good one if you're trying to increase a student's uh, fluency. But bear in mind that you always want to pick in independent level books. That says independent level books right there, believe it or not. And so our independent level books are the ones that would want to be, we would want to select for uh, doing repeated reading. Uh, moreover, um, the book should be uh, familiar. Now in this case, the uh, instructor is uh, selecting a variety of supplementary texts that have what's known as a controlled vocabulary and that's uh, just just fine as you see right in right in here a controlled vocabulary and these books are going to become familiar to the students as they read them over and over and over again so that's a you know kind of an important thing to remember that the books that the uh, teacher is selecting are at the students' independent reading level uh, moreover they are familiar to them or they're going to become familiar to them as they do repeated readings readings because repeated readings work on speed. So what aspect of fluency is be being developed here? It is really reading rate. It is really speed. And then you're going to give a benefit of how this um, uh, comes about through repeated readings. Note on all those documents I posted on Blackboard, read everything related to fluency uh, because a person's name is going to come out and that come up and that is Samuels. In fact, you probably could even Google Samuels and that says Samuels, U-E-L-S, Samuels right there. And you'll find that he has done a lot of work on uh, fluency and says 
basically everything that I just said to you. All right, well, let's look at the answer now, if we uh, could. You can see that it is between the 75 to 125 word range. Uh, this instructional strategy primarily helps develop students' reading rate. The selected text helps support development of reading rate because they use controlled vocabulary. Uh, in other words, primarily easily decodable words, and we know what types of words those are. Your CVCs, your CVCEs, uh, you know, ones that have got uh, when two vowels are walking, the first one is talking, uh, those kinds of, uh, of um, decodable words. And high frequency sight words are uh, also characteristic of controlled vocabulary. Research shows that reading text with high readability is often more effective in enhancing reading rate than read than when readability is not controlled. So familiar independent level books with a controlled vocabulary are extremely important for developing fluency, especially when the students read them over and over and over again. The strategy also promotes reading rate because the teacher selects a variety of these texts and as the students read them over a period of days. This provides the students with repeated practice reading the same words in a variety of contexts, which helps them build their automatic recognition of the words. Automasticity, that's just automatic recognition, that's all that word means, in word recognition is essential for developing reading rate, which enhances fluency. And by extension, once the children are fluent, uh, they have the opportunity uh, to comprehend. Uh, here's their evaluation of this sample a response. The assignment uh, assesses competencies in domain three. The response fulfills the purpose of the assignment by identifying the aspects of fluency, in other words, reading RAID, that this instructional strategy primarily develops and explains, explaining how the strategy promotes this aspect of fluency. The response reflects an accurate understanding of fluency through its discussion of the role of appropriate texts in supporting development of reading RAID and the importance of building automaticity in, or pardon me, to enhance the reading RAID and fluency. I have to work on my reading fluency, apparently. Uh, support for the writer's argument is found in a clear explanation of the factors that enhance the reading rate. And so if I just can scroll back for a second, and we can kind of see how this uh, little um, essay is organized. If you just look at the front part of it, they just really just describe the instructional strategy and what it targets and its reading rate. It wasn't intonation, in other words, prosody. It was not um, accuracy. Uh, because if I can even scroll back again, why don't I go ahead and do that uh, and just point things out. Accuracy would have to be handled through some kind of finger pointing. Oftentimes, teachers will also use like a, a, a mask like this, a piece of paper with maybe just uh, the inside kind of cut out. I guess my uh, pen isn't going to allow me to write in that uh, symbol again. That's unfortunate, but that's the way that it goes. Uh, where maybe there's a section of it cut out right in here like that so that they're only seeing a, a word or a chunk, a chunk like a phrase like to the store. No, they're only seeing separate words or chunks of words. Um, at a time to develop their accuracy, but there's got to be some kind of uh, intervention either with a, a reading finger that they're using to finger point as they read or some kind of a mask to mask out any inter interference from other words to really focus on accuracy. Uh, prosody and intonation is best handled through maybe listening to books on tape, for example, uh, or doing what's called a choral read. <clears throat> Excuse me. Choral reading is just where you read. It's like a chorus, you know, uh, where the students will read together after the stu teacher models, where the voice goes up and the voice goes down. And uh, even on a choral read, you can use, like, uh, you know, if you've got a, a giant uh, piece of paper with everything written out, Maybe you highlight or indicate where the voice goes up and the voice goes down or where the voice pauses. Anything that's going to be visual and, and stimulating will uh, work. Okay, well, let me continue. So when they structure this answer, they come right out and say what this uh, activity is targeting. And in this case, <clears throat> it is reading rate. And then they just go walk through the activity. The selected text helps support the development of reading rate because it uses a controlled vocabulary. That comes right out of the um, question. They said controlled vocabulary, and so should you. And 
then they sort of uh, support that by saying research shows that reading text with a high readability is more effective in enhancing the reading rate than when readability is not controlled. And most of your independent level books for early readers are certainly going to have a controlled vocabulary. Very early texts might just have cat. Uh, later texts are going to have you know words like serial, let's say, uh, because the rule that remember that um, e makes that c sound like an s in here and. That's a much more complicated rule than the simple short vowel CVC rule, for example. Okay, moving on. Uh, the strategy also promotes reading rate because the teacher selects a variety of these texts and has the students read them over a period of days. So this is going to make them become more and more familiar. They're at their independent level, they're within their range of abilities, they are decodable, they use a lot of high frequency sight words, and they are going to become uh, familiar to the students and easier and easier to read. Uh, as the students uh, progress and practice. And that brings us to the benefit. This provides the students with repeated practice reading the same words in a variety of contexts, which helps build their automatic recognition of the words. Automasticity in word recognition is essential for developing reading rate, which enhances fluency. So basically, they take things right out of the text, which would be uh, the controlled vocabulary that you see right in here. They take the uh, fact that the, uh, ins that the teacher is uh, taking a variety of texts into account, which is what you see right in here, and then they just basically write in a benefit of this and a benefit of that. So it's a little, a uh, little different from what we've, what we've experienced, but um, it's um, just a matter of answering the question, pulling details out of the response, and then supporting them with benefits.